Hey, it's your girl Lauren here for another banger. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lauren and welcome to the Side Chef Studio Kitchen. Today we're going to be getting hot and cheesy with these buffalo chicken dip sliders. These sliders are so easy to make and so good I can honestly eat them all day. Let's get started. First, we're going to place the chicken breasts into the pot and season them generously with salt and pepper. And by generously, I mean generously. If you're measuring, I would use about a teaspoon each. The reason you're seasoning so generously is that a lot of these seasonings are actually just gonna end up in the water and not in the chicken. Now we're gonna drizzle about two tablespoons of the cayenne pepper sauce over the chicken just to give it a little extra flavor while it's cooking. Finally, we're gonna add enough water to cover the chicken by one inch. We've covered the chicken with water and now bring it to a boil over medium high heat. The water is boiling and now we're going to flip the chicken breasts so that they cook evenly. They look beautiful. Cook the breasts for 10 to 15 minutes or until the internal temperature reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit. So I know poached chicken gets a bad rep, but if you use this method, it's gonna come out juicy and flavorful every time, which is perfect for these sliders. Don't hate on poached chicken, guys. With this recipe, it comes out perfect. Once the breasts are cooked through, we're gonna take them out of the water to cool off for a little bit. While we're waiting for the chicken to cool, preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius. Our chicken has cooled off a little bit and now we're gonna cut it into three to four pieces just so it's a little bit easier to shred. Oh, beautiful, perfect. This chicken is looking great. It's lost all of its pinkness, but it isn't dry. It still has a nice juicy center that's gonna make these sliders taste amazing. This is one of my favorite kitchen hacks. We're actually going to shred the chicken using a stand mixer. This is a super easy way to shred a bunch of chicken at once without the arm workout. We're just gonna add the chicken to the bowl of the stand mixer and let it go on medium speed for about 30 seconds to a minute. All right, it's time to shred some chicken. Okay, here we go. All right, chicken has been shredded. Oh, it's looking awesome. I promise you'll never go back to using forks again. In a large mixing bowl, combine the cream cheese, the blue cheese, and the rest of the cayenne pepper sauce. Oh, like salty, tangy lava. What I'm doing now is breaking down some of these blue cheese chunks so that you don't get big chunks of blue cheese in the final dish, you just get more of a flavor throughout. I'm not a huge fan of blue cheese, but I think of these sliders as a great gateway recipe for anyone who doesn't like the flavor of blue cheese. The flavor is actually quite mild in the end and complements really well with the sweetness of the buns. Now that we have the base of the dip ready, we're going to add in the chicken for the final touch. And we're gonna do a little mixy mix. So we're just gonna mix the chicken in here until it's fully incorporated into the sauce. Oh. Now we're gonna cut the rolls in half by placing a hand on top and gently sawing through the middle. Let's do it. This might smush your rolls down a little on top, but that's totally fine. We did it. <laughs> we have the bottom halves of our rolls here on a parchment lined baking tray, and now we're going to spread the dip evenly over the tops. If you know anything about me, it's that I love cheese and I love spicy food. The idea to put it in a slider came to me when I realized that I was standing around the dip bowl the entire party and I wanted a way to take it with me. Plus, this way you don't have to share it with anyone, unless you want to. That's cool too. Now just replace the tops and then press down gently. Here we have two tablespoons of butter and two cloves of finely minced garlic. This is gonna be the topping that we brush over the sliders before we bake them. The garlic in this step is totally optional, but I think it adds a really nice flavor. We're gonna microwave this for about 30 seconds until the butter is melted and we get a sort of quick garlic butter. We're going to take the garlic butter and brush it over the tops of the sliders. Make sure to not leave the garlic behind in the bottom of the bowl so that it gets all over the tops of the rolls. This garlic is going to roast in the oven and become crunchy little bits of flavor on top of these sliders. It's amazing. We're gonna put these in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes or until the tops are a nice golden brown. After about 10 minutes, just make sure to keep an eye on them so that the color turns out perfect. Our sliders have been baking for about 10 minutes and they are the perfect golden brown. We're gonna let them cool for a couple of minutes and then they are ready to serve. 
They smell amazing. We did it, you guys. We made buffalo chicken dip sliders. These sliders are great for barbecues, potlucks, or even a weeknight dinner with a side salad. I serve them warm with a little bit of ranch on the side for dipping. I could honestly eat these for every meal. I know you guys are gonna love them just as much as I do. Enjoy!